Brent and Anthony. Nice to meet you here in Berlin. Good to meet you. Good yeah. to be here. Who is who? I'm Brent. I'm Anthony. And who sings? And who plays guitars? Uh, I sing lead. I sing harmony and I play lead guitar and I strum and other mm. instruments. Guitar. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Other instruments? Oh. Yeah, I mean we we uh, guitar is our main instrument, but we mess around with piano and ah, okay. um, drums, bass. Everett. Why is this name? <laughs> <laughs> we get asked that a lot. Um there was a movie that came out in the early 2000s. Yes, I know. I have Old Brother Arthur. You know that movie? I have seen the movie. Yes. And but why uh, is this name? Uh, well, uh, when we first start, we've been playing music together for 16 years, in different bands and configurations, and uh, we decided to start playing just me and him again. And we were in the studio working on music, and we still didn't have a band name, and we decided to take a break to ease our brains a little bit and turned on that movie which we used to watch in college <laughs> way too much because we couldn't afford to have uh, regular TV we couldn't pay for it so we had movies we had like three or four movies that being one of them and I don't know we could relate to the characters they went through all these trials and difficult times to become the soggy bottom boys and we yes. had been through our ups and downs and all arounds just to be to become Everett and also George Clooney's from Kentucky so <laughs> and we are as well honestly coming up with a band name might be harder than coming up with a name for your child I like, agree <laughs> so like as soon as one of us like, I don't know if, which one of us it was like what about Everett it's like done cool yeah let's do that yeah <laughs> okay and um, you came from Bowling Green is it right? Bowling Bo Green. Bowling Green. Bowling Green, and Kentucky. And you studied? Yes. Um, you studied m music? Or I studied music, yeah, at uh, Western Kentucky University. and I was in education. Ah. Um, yeah, at Western Kentucky. You wanted to be a teacher? Yeah, and I actually was a substitute teacher for a few years, and so was Anthony, yeah. for a little extra money. But uh, I love teaching. I loved being in the classroom, but... I like music more. <laughs> okay. You got a lot of praise from the American press. And how does it feel? The Billboard and Rolling Stone and also... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, have, uh, it's cool. So much. It's cool to hear um, things like that. Uh, I, I'm speaking for myself mainly, I, it kind of... <laughs> I don't mean to sound silly. It, in one ear and out the other a little bit you know um i think the the best feeling is when you're playing music in front of people and you see their faces you see the connection on stage that's that's what means the world you know but it's also cool to you know to read little tidbits that pop up here and they're like hey everett they don't suck <laughs> you know they're not the worst <laughs> yeah well it's it is really cool i mean because that means it's getting out there people are paying attention which allows us to um, play for a bigger audience, which also allows us to see those smiling faces that he's talking about. So um, it all works together, I think. And um, to your music, uh, where do you find your inspiration? That's a good question. Um, Is it on the streets or uh, uh, you know, neighbors? Uh, or as, as a uh, songwriter we're writing uh, we, we write songs all the time we, we probably do that more than anything else and um, you're really uh, it's like you're gathering gathering the ingredients for whatever you're cooking up but you're constantly just going like oh that's cool oh that's cool somebody said something on the train I'm like oh that's neat I may make a note in my phone or just you know the next time you're having a conversation when you're writing a song like I heard this cool thing or or I don't know everywhere you go I guess you would say the universe yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, it's it, it it comes in different forms. I feel like my favorite way um, is when it's random and kind of um, inspired in a way. Um, I love it when I'm just having a conversation with Anthony or somebody else we're writing with, and something that you didn't even know stuck in your brain just by something they're saying lights up, and you there's always like an 
ooh, 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 what about this? You know, every time something like, oh, there it is, you know? And uh, I love those moments because um, it doesn't happen every day. And if you st when you started uh, to play music, uh, from the first tone, uh, country music, or do you play rock music or pop music? Or no, that's, a, that's a great question. Was it every time country? No. That's probably, we were talking earlier, our record is kind of all over the place, you know, um, because we're inspired by so much music and have played in different types of bands. Um, Anthony was in heavy metal bands and uh, <laughs> I kind of was too. I was rock bands and I love country music. It's a beautiful genre, but I love all music. Yeah, I think uh, when I first very, I mean, I, I started playing piano when I was younger, but I, I don't know if I count that because I was learning like children's music, you know, and like the Batman theme song or something. But uh, when I first started playing guitar, it was because, you know, I, I listened to Jimi Hendrix or Stevie Ooh. Ray Vaughan or Metallica or Alice in Chains <laughs> or whatever. And I, I hear them playing this amazing music on guitar. I'm like, how do they do that? And it, you know, took a few years to kind of get a handle. But, and I think that just kind of grew over time um, into country music. I don't even know how that happened. But uh, you can hear those influences on our record. Anthony's parts, very uh, guitar-driven mm -hmm. songs, you know, um, riffs, like the heroes he's talking about. Which I, I love. Oh, go ahead. I think uh, country music has changed in the last 10 or yes. 20 years. It's uh, so much more than uh, before. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yes. Um, how would you describe your own music style? country rock uh, um, what is it I love when we hear that our music has a little rock and roll in it because I love rock and roll music um, but I always describe it as back porch rock and roll meaning um, it, it has a feeling of community as if we were all sitting on a back porch strumming some guitars and hanging out we don't like it to feel like the audience is here and we're here we want to make people feel together That's our mission every time we're playing, um, is to bring the audience on this journey with us. Um, so I've always called it back porch rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Do you, the first time in Germany? For me, yes. Yes. I, yes. I lived here when I was a kid. I, I, uh, I moved here when I was six. My stepdad was in the military. Oh. And so we, uh, and we lived in, a, I, m I might mispronounce this, but Würzburg, Wiesbaden and Frankfurt. Ah, okay. Uh, I guess it was about not quite six years, but uh, it's good to be back. Uh -huh. But your first tour in Germany? Yeah. yeah. And how is it for you? Love it. Oh my God. We started off in Munich, um, then went to um, Cologne. Cologne. Yeah. Cologne. Cologne. I can't say it right. Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> They were all trying to teach us, and I was like, Cologne? No. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Hamburg, and then and then here. So we pretty much have seen the whole country in a few days because we've been traveling by train. And, and how is the German audience? Everybody has been so sweet, Beautiful. so attentive. It's amazing uh, getting off stage and coming out to meet people. And a lot of people say, like, you know, I, they almost like apologize, like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know anything about you until I saw this concert. But I listened to your music so that when you came on stage, I could sing along. And hearing people say that is like incredible because they don't really do that in the states. No, you know? they a lot of people just you know at our at the level we're at that you know they like to come get drunk and <laughs> and, and so people knew your music, yeah, your album, yeah, yeah. A lot of people singing along to all the songs. It's it's been really amazing because we haven't been over here before and you really don't know what to expect coming over to a country you've never been to before to play music. Mm -hmm. But the arms have been wide open for us, and um, it's a very warm feeling. We love yeah. this country. I think uh, we have in the we had in the last uh, three or five years uh, so much country music. Uh, yeah, much more than before. Uh -huh. And um, it, I think it began with a country to country festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
do you will come back to the country and country festival? We would love to. Year? I hope so. Maybe. It would be great. We've done uh, country to country in London, but uh, we haven't done Berlin. But uh, I would say... It's much more greater than in Berlin, I think. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. And what can the people expect today? Today? Uh, man, I gotta say, the our friends that we're traveling with, um, Stephen Wilson Jr. and Austin Jinx, um, I hope they don't melt everybody's faces too much before we get up there, because <laughs> uh, they're both incredible and unique in their own way. Stephen Wilson Jr. is, he's called the holler from the holler. <laughs> uh -huh. He's just pure energy, you know, uh -huh. and uh, incredible to watch. Austin Jinx, um, one of the most amazing voices ever. And, uh, but anyways, I'm hoping people have enough energy after they're done watching them to enjoy what we have to offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know um, um, these two boys. Uh, I have never heard. They're incredible. Oh, they're so good. And uh, so far, so good. All the German crowds have had plenty of energy for everybody. And um, we, do give, we do give the crowds a little treat at the end. Um, we get all, all the artists that are on this tour up together and play a few cover songs together. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was my last question. Awesome. I wish you good luck today and maybe we will see you next year on the greater stage. Yeah, hope so. Uh, I hope we do. Yes. Thank you for yes. taking time to do yeah, this. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.